Hi, today we got a simple project. Just switching this pump, which still works, it's just a simple style uh, and medium grade one to a higher quality cam pump. So first step, remove the screws. There's four, one, two, three, four. Already remove them. And then yank the pump off. And this should come off because it's not too old, but yeah, perfect. Do I see? This one's not bad. It's got some rust in it just because it's been sitting for a while. It's older. It's from 2013. And then let me clean that up and I'll throw the new one on. Okay, so a couple things when installing this. First, make sure you get the key. This key was in the old pump. It's stuck. If you install a pump without a key, the pump's never going to work. And you're going to wonder why you put a new pump on and nothing. Anti-seize or a little grease. Make sure you put this in, because if you ever need to take the pump off, or repurpose the motor, they can be extremely difficult to remove. Next thing, I set the key up already. This is a uh, metric. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I have this straight. I have the pump lined up vertical. I'm gonna put the key in just to start it. I don't want to install it at all. Okay, barely started. And then see, you know, if it lines up. Perfect, lined up. Now, let me grab the bolts. I've got four bolts. And I've noticed this sometimes. These are a bit long, so, kind of have to pull the pump out a bit to start them. All right, so that one started. I'm gonna start the next one. Hand start these, <laughs> always hand start these. These are going into aluminum. If you try to just do a wrench at first and you cross thread them, You'll damage it. So at least the top two, I'm gonna shut the camera off, do the bottom two, suck it on, and then I'll pick up. All right, sometimes this can be a little pain, but just go slow, uh, just barely start them. I've got all four started. I have a 12 point on here just to get better room because I don't really want to take off the thermal relief. I don't want to take the tire off. And I'm only able to turn maybe an eighth of a turn at a time on this bolt. So it is gonna take me a little bit, and then I'll finish these. I'll slowly work the pump in and then install the, the tighten down the Allen key to lock the, the keyway in. Okay, I tightened all four bolts nice and tight with a wrench. Just time to tighten up the Allen screw here. So now this pump is completely installed. Uh, let me Yep, unloader looks good. Quick connects. Make sure your filter doesn't fall out because sometimes if you're hitting it, this gets bumped. So let me put my quick connects on and get fired up. All right, so ready to start it. So something to be careful of when you switch the pump, check your nozzle size, check your orifice size. So you're gonna do that. Look right here. You'll see these numbers. The last, which this I just changed because it matches the pump. So this is a 3000 PSI, 3.1 gallons per minute pump. It needs a 3.5 orifice. The previous pump, which was not as powerful, had a 3.0 orifice. So make sure you change it, you check your orifice, change it. The whole unit's been, been bled of air.
so seems like it works good i'm pretty happy with this pump it's a replacement on this unit this motor is 190 cc you can put it on any sort of three-quarter shaft motor so whether that's a honda gx 200 uh, GC160, GX160, Subaru SP170, Subaru SP210, Briggs & Stratton, anything with a three-quarter shaft that's about five and a half, six and a half, seven horsepower, you might have to change the unloader to loosen it, or another way to cheat is to increase the orifice size on your, on your nozzle. Anyways, so this is the installation for the cam pump. All right, hope you enjoyed.